So we're doing the, the spring constant graph here. Um, and I'm just going to go over the theory of it and the IB rules, and then I'll show you actually um, how to do the graph. Okay, But the first concept here is that uh, if we were going to determine the spring constant of a spring, right, F equals kx, right? So if we do a graph of this force versus x, right, we expect that to be a straight line. And then the slope of that line, the slope of the line is k, OK? OK, so that's what we're going to do is we're going to make a graph. We're going to find the best fit slope. That slope will be the spring constant, OK? Now, aspect one, the first thing they want you to do is make a nice neat data table, OK? Now, neat data tables have labels. So that's what you record. Here it's restoring force. Here it's stretch distance, right? Here, and IB does this, right? They want um, a symbol, and they want the units, right? So this is force in Newtons, x, the distance, in centimeters, right? Then they also want the uncertainty, such a lot, right? And uncertainties are typically half the smallest thing you can measure. So if you could measure, as in this example, right, uh, 0.2 is maybe the smallest thing you can measure, then it's half of that. Or if, if a millimeter is the smallest thing, that's half a millimeter. And then the final thing is that when you write these down, they have the same precision. Okay, they've got uh, consistent precision. That's what we're talking about here, right? So these are all 0, 0.0, right, or whatever, right? They all have the tenths place as well as this one has the tenths place. And it wouldn't be okay to say 2 and 2.1 and 3.15 and 4, right? Because these things, it's like, eh, we don't like that, right? They don't have the same precision. But these guys all do. So that, that's the first concept, right, is make a nice, neat data table. Now, aspect 2 and aspect 3 of this data collection processing are unbelievably complex. So let me show you this, right? So the first one is make, you know, make a good graph, okay? Make a good graph. It's got the units titled and all this stuff, right? So there's a graph of the data that you just saw. Right, and then aspect three, okay, aspect three is, is and this is the whole IB song and dance that they want you to do for physics, right, is that you, you know, you put the error bars on there if you can. This thing, if you recall, had error of 0.1, so we can see that, but um, yeah, you can put a little asterisk there, right? But the X value, the, the distance was 0 0.05 centimeters, so it was very small, right? So we neglected, X uncertainty, right? Right, so you need to actually say that you're neglecting that, right? Okay, and then you draw the a best fit line, which is this guy, right? Here's your best fit, right? Or the big friendly giant, right? Okay, best fit line. Then you do the steepest one, and the steepest one goes from the top of that error bar exactly to the bottom of that error bar. And the, the, the uh, minimum slope line, because remember, slope is our, our, uh, our spring constant, right? Goes from there to there, okay? And I'll show you how to do that, right? So the best fit line, you just draw it in there, and really you're going to extend that thing all the way out here and actually read the axis just like you did on the moving plots lab, right? So measure where that thing goes off the graph. These guys, though, go exactly from those error bars, this one to this one, this one, to that one, right? And then when you determine the k, well, this is newtons per centimeter, right? So this is k right there, okay? And then the uncertainty of k is just this guy here, max, high minus low over 2, right? So I'm going to go uh, the uncertainty of k is going to be 0.24, our max slope, right? Minus 0.20. All that divided by 2, right? So that's 0 0.02 newtons per centimeter, right? So if you had to say what k was, you would say k equals 0.22 plus or minus 0 0.02 newtons per centimeter, okay? So that's that. The next video I'm going to do, I'm going to show you more of the details on how to do this with an actual graph.